Hello, this is Let Me See a Transcript, your very favorite history teacher. And today I'm coming with a very serious talk to all of the Karens out there in the world. We need to talk. This is serious, Karen. The last year, the last six months, you've been out here wilding. You've been calling the police, calling the authorities, confronting black people, Hispanic people, and other people of color. And especially within the last month, y'all have been off the chain. Please understand this, my white sister. We have similar struggles. We women have similar struggles. We've been discriminated on the job, in the workplace, sometimes having to do two jobs outside the, our home and inside our home, helping to raise children to make sure that they are safe, as well as getting our education, getting higher degrees, and trying to move up and past the glass ceiling in the workplace. We have both been discriminated against, but it seems lately, especially in since 53% of you voted for Trump in the last election, that you have been an agent of white supremacy and white privilege. You have been calling the police on the rest of us. You need to understand, and I think some of you already understand that you have white privilege and that this country is going to believe you first when you call the police or the authorities. Some of you are confronting people, putting your fingers in their faces, coming with them at hammer, hammers or with knives, telling people to get out of the country, trying to stop people from looting, I guess, or people are blocking your spaces, or it's just, or most recently, someone told you to leash your dog, even though there's a sign that says leash your dog, okay, some of you have called on people at a park, as if you called on a little girl selling water so she can go to Disneyland, and I'm just like, Karen, Karen, you gotta stop this, you got to stop this you're making my white friends female friends look bad this is not a good look Karen and if some of you are mad being called Karen saying oh it's like being called the n-word no it's not no it's not now some of you may feel like oh you're picking on me you've been disrespectful for me because some of this stuff doesn't apply to you out there who are woke who understand you have privilege and you are a real ally to those of us who are battling uh, racial, ethnic, religious, and uh, discrimination based on sexual orientation. You're out there helping us. Thank you and we appreciate it. But y'all need to have y'all a meeting. Y'all need to call Gloria Steinem. Any of these other woke LG, uh, LGBT people um social justice people uh and have a meeting with the Karens because this is getting out of control and the thing is when you're they're filming what you're doing and you're looking crazy you're wild and some of you are losing your jobs and one Karen is in jail because she Shot a black man in his own home. It's getting ridiculous. It's bad. 
is awful. And if you don't get it together, Karens out there in the world who want to get in people's face, being angry, calling the police, being threatening people, you're going to get physically hurt next time. Because somebody is going to be sick and tired of being sick and tired. Okay? It is time to stop. Okay? It really is time to stop. It is getting ridiculous. This is, let me see your transcript. Your very favorite history teacher. Please click like, share, and subscribe. The bell and all notifications. Just stop it, Karen.